I saw that in my relationships, a lot of the patterns and behaviors are reappearing, especially in my intimate relationships. And um, also with my business, I felt like I kept hitting the same ceiling over and over, no matter how how I tried different things. I've been through a lot of different um, spiritual work, a lot of spiritual tools and meditation, breath work, so many different things. But this medicine really opened me up to my heart. Mm-hmm. And open me up to a deeper sense of being where I'm able to identify like where do all the problems originate from and how can I let them go mm-hmm. and to sit with the resistance that sometimes life brings upon us and um, to just flow with life. Mm-hmm. I found a deep sense of gratitude, a newfound purpose in the last 10 days that we've been here mm-hmm. and uh, the grounding, the stabilizing of what's to come the creations that I'm about to create, like I'm just filled with gratitude in that there's a knowing. It's very different than reading a book or going to a seminar or something like that, where this is a lot more experiential, mm-hmm. where it's a living embodiment of the work that you're doing. And I feel very settled in into mm-hmm. into that. So I'm looking forward to what comes next. Uh-huh. And so with what you have shared, uh, where does that leave the quote-unquote problems that you came with about personal relationships <laughs> and being stuck? How how do you feel about them? Where you're where are you at in relationship to yeah. what troubles? Like I said, there's a certainty and there there's a knowing in the path that I'm going. When I came here, the first couple of days, I wrote down like all my intentions, like I want a solution to this problem and this problem, and I would love to resolve this issue and everything. And now when I look at the same list, I go like, these are not even problems. Like these are just situations. And I'll, I'll repeat something that you mentioned that stuck with me and stuck a chord with me deeply yesterday. It's life is not, a, you know, just a bunch of problems to solve. It's a mystery that unravels itself. It's something that we get to enjoy. And all these adventures and all these, all these situations and challenges get thrown at us, but they're just situations. And at the end of the day, like (laughs) we're good like everything is good things are everything in our life happens for the exact reason that it's supposed to happen like everything is perfect the way it is we sometimes wish that that person wasn't there this situation didn't happen what if i had done this before regrets and Mm -hmm. blames and justifications and everything but that's exactly the thing that's got you right here Mm -hmm. in this moment here and now yeah. And we, we can we can seem to uh, we can seem to forget that appreciation for life. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you have any fears coming in? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, first with the medicine because I I didn't know what to expect. I had never mm-hmm. done ayahuasca before, so I I was like, what's gonna happen? And um, there was a lot of unknown fears. It wasn't even like I didn't even know what to fear, but I was just very, very nervous coming mm-hmm. in. But I found the energy of the group and I found the facilitators, yourself, the support group, everybody to be super impeccable in the support that you've given us in um, the containers that have been created for us in the mm-hmm. environments that we've been in to facilitate the whole experience. I feel like the, like the 10 days have been perfectly... Um, every day has unraveled the perfect gifts for myself and Mm -hmm. for all of us. And it just created a deeper bond and a connection where I feel like, you know, this is family. Beautiful. And finally, what what will you tell someone who wants to come and decide on the fence, thinks maybe, maybe not, maybe next year? So I was that guy too. Yeah. Because last year... When we spoke, I felt a calling to come to ayahuasca and then life will definitely test you before you come here. It's, it's not a matter of if, it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. And all of those challenges come because the medicine is trying to test how bad you really want it. How bad do you want the gifts that you have been suppressing all your life? And um, there's a deeper sense of knowing that the right person watching this, if you know, you know, even though there's that, it's going to be uncomfortable, there's going to be resistance, but you know, I have this thing to take care of and I have this event and this thing or whatever and all these things, but 
deep down inside, if you know you've mm-hmm. got to be here, then do whatever it takes to be here because you will not leave here the same man. Like I, I literally cannot recognize the person that I was 10 days ago. Um, and I've done a lot of work. I've done a lot of spiritual work. But this took me to a deeper layer of freedom in myself. Where I, I, I'm just open to what life has to bring me. And uh, I'm willingly accepting it with open arms. Thank you. Thank you.